A nuclear-powered icebreaker is an icebreaker with an onboard nuclear power plant that produces power of the vessel's propulsion system. As of the 2022, Russia is the only country that builds and operates nuclear power icebreaker. Having built a number of such as a vessel, to aid shipping along the Northern Sea Route since the Soviet times. Nuclear power icebreakers are much more powerful than their diesel powered counterparts. Although nuclear propulsion is expensive to install and maintain, very heavy fuel demands, limitation of range, and difficulty refueling in the Arctic region can make diesel vessels less practical and less economical over the these size braking duties. Arctica-class icebreakers have a double hull, with the outer hull being approximately 48 mm thick at icebreaking areas and 25 mm thick elsewhere. There is a water balance between the inner and outer hulls, which can be shifted to eight icebreaking. Icebreaking is also assisted by an air bubbling system, which can deliver 24 cubic meters of air from jets 9 meters below the surface. Some ships have polymer-coated hulls to reduce friction. Arctica-class ships can break ice while making their way either forwards or backwards. Although they have two reactors, normally only one is used to provide a power, with the other being maintained in a standby mode. Long Arctic winter, the ice along the Northern Sea Road varies in a thickness from 1.2 to 2 meters. The ice in the central part of the Arctic Ocean is on average 2.5 meter thick. Nuclear powered icebreaker can force through this ice of a speed of the 10 knots. In free ice water, the maximum speed of the nuclear power icebreaker is as much as 21 knots.
Russian Sartica class icebreakers are used to force through the ice for the benefits of the cargo ships and other vessels along the Northern Sea Road, which comprises the eastern part of the Barents Sea. The Pekora Sea, the Kara Sea, the Laptev Sea and the Eastern Siberian Sea, straight to the Bering Strait. Other important ports include Dixon, Dixie and Apavek. Of six Arctica class icebreakers built in 1975 till 2007, two are currently in the service. Two shallow draft nuclear power icebreakers, Voyager and a Timer, have been built for the shallow waters and are usually used from the Yenisei River to Dixon, where they break through the ice followed by the cargo ships with a lumber from Vigarka and the cargo ships with a war and metals. The icebreakers have also been used for a number of scientific expeditions in the Arctic. On August 17, 1977, Arctica was the first surface vessel in the world to reach the North Pole. Since 1989, some icebreakers have been used for Arctic tourist cruises. Transit navigation in the eastern Arctic usually ends in November and does not reopen until July. However, on the 5th of January 2021, the Sovcom Club shipping company with a Rosatom participation launched the latest high-latitude voyage in the history of Arctic navigation. It is navigating under the guidance of the nuclear power icebreaker 50, Let Pobedi, going west from the Cape Dejnia. For the first time ever, a large capacity cargo vessel sails along the Nordic Sea Road in February. This tanker successfully crossed the water of the three seas, the Chukchi, East Siberian and the Laptev Seas. <laughs>